Rousseau claimed that humans are possessed by two forms of self-love. One was amour de soi, which means self-preservation or self-love, for example, taking up interests of our own survival, comfort and enjoyment within the state of nature. And the second was amour propre, which means self-esteem. This form of self-love is inherently based on having a relational existence with others, and it is something which grew out of the development of existing within civilization. While living in a society, we receive recognition from others, so this form of self-love or value is dependent on other people by the societal gaze of being recognised or accepted, and it includes the different social recognitions which would be desired by people, for example, coming off as rich, as that would increase one's perception of self-worth or self-esteem in society. But it came to thought for Rousseau that this impulse of amour de soi within human nature would evolve, adapt and change into a different expression when we would culturally evolve to become more civil or acquainted with others, to be more known to exist among a crowd of people than within our own settled harmony. Living in urban cities among large populations, purchasing newspapers and all the rest, of course, changed the ways in which we would live as a people and of course our own understanding and expression of our natural impulses. Rousseau saw a problem with this new form of self-love. He claimed that through this transitory period of being uncultured to cultured, the unavoidable gaze of civilization and of our own observation unto others would turn the impulse of true love into this new form of self-worth and self-esteem with regards to our relation with society and the people within it. This new form of self-love for people in urban societies would spark new desired personal interests to increase their societal stature and projective value. Therefore, traits such as jealousy, vanity, pride and narcissism would be given fuel in attempt to climb a ladder towards societal perfectibility. Populating growth within confined spaces and city landscapes would increase the likelihood of personal self-comparison with others. We would start to use people as a measuring rod from our own possible perfectibility within society. A focused and worrying attention to what my self-worth would be within a particular civilization. what could I offer to such a place, and thus how can I fit in to be perfect for such a demanding society? With this being given close attention, our personal original attention to self-love and development would decrease. Games of comparison, societal competitions, prejudice development, snobbery and division would begin to unfold at greater lengths and would get worse over time. Even the influential negativities of materialism would influence the change in attention which would of course continue to lead society's development for many years to come.